Watching this video may give you the mystical power to convert any object into a video game controller. Watch at your own risk. Huh? Hey, have you ever played Monkey Lender? Oh, you killed me. So, so, let's make a controller to move this monkey. Oh, yeah. So, what we'll need is... Huh? Whoa, push buttons. Oh. Oh. An Arduino, a shoebox. Ah, what's that? Bottle cap. I'll take it. Oh, a pencil filler. Oh, never mind. Ah, oh, and yes, a great subscribe button. <laughs> oh yeah. So we'll take the push buttons and solder extensions into them. I'm using only three to keep things simple, but you can use as many as you want. Next, we'll make some holes to put the buttons into place. I'm using an old stinky solder iron because it was resting close to me and I do not like lazy tools. But you can just use anything. Secure the buttons with hot glue. Put the Arduino in place and connect the left button to pin digital 10, center to pin digital 11 and right to pin digital 12, all through the ground. Next, I made another hole to put in the cable. Oh. Mr. Cap, I don't need it. I got a better one. Oh. And it goes here. Huh? I attached a LED to the TX pin that is the digital pin 1 through the plus 3.3 volts. So, the hardware is done. So, let's plug it in, open up the ID, and start coding. Here's what the code looks like. We have given each button a specific index and we are printing the sum of the indexes of the pressed buttons. Right now, if we switch on the serial monitor, we can see that the Arduino is returning the sum as 0 since none of the buttons are pressed. Now if I press the left button, the Arduino returns 1 since its index is 1. If I press the central button, the Arduino returns 4 and if I press the right button, it returns 11. So if I press the left and the central button, I should get the sum as 5. And here we go. So the Arduino is talking well with the serial monitor. Now let's switch on processing and start coding again. And behold the processing script. Here we construct a robot class which allows us to duplicate the keyboard process and we send the buttons to be pressed by providing cases. You can download the script from the link in the video description. Make sure you change the COM4 port to your COM port. And once it's working, when you hit the run button, export an application file so that you can use the controller instantly like any other console. And finally, plug it in. Launch the exported application. If your console responds with a flirtatious blink, we're good to go. Once you understand how it works, you can add as many buttons as you want and play any game you want to. You can also use the analog pins and make super awesome controllers. Like, share and subscribe to support the channel. Also comment below what you would like me to make next. You can follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. 